mighty name we have prayed. Father, I want to thank you for tonight. We bless your name. We give you praise. We give you honor. We exalt your name. We magnify you. We commit all that we do tonight into your hands, Holy Spirit. Please take perfect and total control in Jesus' name. In everything, God, let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Um, Daddy wants to start with us tonight with um, a few words of knowledge and um I will pass that information across and we'll go ahead to what God has in store for us. Number one, God said I should tell somebody among us who is heavily pregnant and um, the day of delivery is moving very close. It's coming close. Very soon you will be, you will have to go and be delivered of the child. I'm asked to tell you that um, every heist that has, that I've been waiting for that day, uh, they will slip off. You will have given birth before they wake up. I must tell another person again that um, you have um, people are coming against you. I must tell you that um, you are going through your trial, and if you can pass this trial without um, failing, there will be a promotion for you. You seems to be there seems to be so much hostility around you. You are passing through a trial, and um, by the grace of God, if you pass the trial, there is a promotion waiting for you. So that's the information we are starting with tonight. Um, shall we go into what God has for us tonight? We are still praying tonight, but we are taking our prayers from the book of Matthew chapter 26 verse 34. Matthew chapter 30, 26 verse 34. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night, before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Um, so that's just the verse God is speaking to us from. That's again the book of Matthew chapter 26 verse 34. Matthew chapter 26 verse 34. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Now, um, there were 12 disciples following Jesus and, um, Two of them were about to make a grave mistake. Two of them were about to fall off. Two of them were about to deny Jesus. Because um, uh, uh, Judas Iscariot denied Jesus and sold him off for 30 pieces of silver. And um, Peter denied Jesus and also sold him off. For his own peace of mind, his life, his uh, stay and everything. Because when people came to meet him and said, this is part of them. Peter said, no, I don't know him. Even Peter started swearing that I don't know him. I have no clue. I don't know this Jesus you are talking about. And um, even uh, 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 John, the, uh, uh, sorry, Judas Iscariot also denied Jesus and decided to go and sell him for 30 pieces of silver. Peter did not even collect money. To deny Jesus. He just denied Jesus straight away. And would have expected that the same thing that happened to Judas Iscariot should happen to Peter. Because in heaven, sins, you don't have big sin and small sin. All sins are sin. Um, you know, on earth, when you say me, I see better than them. I'm just speaking small, small lies. I'm not like those drunkards and those fornicators. At the end of the day, for heaven, all of plus small liar plus big Killer plus S men plus higher killer, everybody are sinners in their in the sight of heaven. So Judas Iscariot and Peter are both sinners before God. But something happened. Mercy has met with Peter before. And mercy had gone ahead to tell Peter that Peter, you are going to deny me. So when it finally happened, when the fall of Peter finally happened, Peter I was able to remember a comforting word from the mercy saying that I have had prayed for you, I have had mercy for you, I have stood in the gap for you, and he was able to bounce back from where he fell and came back to Christ. But for 
Judas Iscariot. Jesus never called Judas Iscariot to his side and said, um, you are going to betray me, and um, but I have prayed for you. Mercy never came for Judas Iscariot. And that's why when Judas Iscariot committed his own, there was no succor for him. There was no help for him. There was nobody standing in the gap for him. So what happened? Peter was saved. Judas Iscariot was lost. There's, I remember there was a time there was a temptation that was coming my way. Somebody was coming my way to come and be used to tempt me. And about the first or second time I met that person, God told me that this person you are looking for, that you are looking at, is going to be used to tempt you. So when it finally happened, I had this confidence in God that he has got my back because mercy has spoken ahead to warn me that this is going to happen and I'm very sure that okay because he has spoken ahead for me he's still there for me tonight we are going to God in prayers that mercy just as you prayed for Peter and you you left Judas hell to pray for Peter tonight mercy I need you to pray for me I need your help. I need you to help me. Because I don't know what I am going to do next that is going to annoy you. I don't know the steps I'm going to take next that is going to lead to trouble for me. I don't know what the devil has planned for me. I don't know the plan of the evil ones for me. You know it. You are at every meeting. There is no meeting that happens that you are not there. There is no secret meeting the devil is having that you are not there. You were there when... um. Satan was having a meeting concerning Judas Iscariot. You were there when Satan was having a meeting concerning Peter. You left Judas Iscariot alone, but you prayed for Peter. Mercy tonight, please come and pray for me. That is the first prayer point we are raising tonight. Can we begin to cry to God and say, Mercy, please come and pray for me. Mercy, please come and pray for me. I need you to pray for me, Mercy. I need you to pray for me. Mercy, I need you to pray for me. I need you to stand in the gap for me, Mercy. I need you to pray for me. I don't know how to pray. I don't know what to pray about. I don't know what the devil has planned for the next minute. I don't know what they are working on. I don't know what they are currently doing. I have no information of what is happening around me. All I need is mercy to pray for me. Mercy, please pray for me. Begin to cry to God tonight. In the name of Jesus, I don't know what is being planned for me. I don't know what you have in stock for me. I have no clue about my tomorrow. I'm just a normal human being. I need you mercy. I need you mercy. I need you to pray in advance for me. Begin to cry to God now. I need you to pray in advance for me. Re pa shanta. Re ba 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 ba. Re po soto. Ye telebo shanta. Re pa sata. Re pa ba 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 ba. Mercy please pray for me tonight. In the name of Jesus. I need you to pray for me. I need you to stand in a gap for me. I don't know anything about my future. I don't know what the devil is planning. I don't know what you God has planned. I don't know the errors I'm making that will increase tomorrow. I just need you to pray for me. In the name of Jesus. Pray for me oh God. Pray for me. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Do you know that while Jesus was on earth and he was moving about with just 12 disciples, there were millions of people on earth who were dying. In the place, the tax office, where Jesus went to pick Matthew, there are other people there. Jesus did not call them. The both side where he went to pick Peter and his brother, there were other fishermen there. Jesus did not pick them. Jesus did not call them. He was picking 12 disciples. There was a place he picked Bartholomew. There was a place he picked Thomas. There were other people there. Their younger brothers are there. Their sisters are there. Their fathers are there. Jesus skipped all of them and chose 12 people. And out of them, 11 were lucky to stand till the end and be lucky to walk with mercy. It is possible, and it has happened many times, that mercy decide to pick somebody and skip other persons. 
It is just by mercy that these are the 12 people that Jesus decided to pick out of the millions on earth. People were going to hell every day. Yes, Jesus was speaking to the crowd in parables. I want you to cry to God tonight and say, Mercy, select me specifically tonight. Select me. Select my family. Select me. Select my family tonight for a touch from you in the mighty name of Jesus. Select us for a visit. Select us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Mercy, select my family tonight for a visit. Mercy, select my family tonight for a visit. Mercy, select my family tonight for a visit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Re Pashada. Re Baba Baba Baba. Re Posoto. Ye Terebo. Re Pasatalaba. Re Baba Baba Baba. Re Posoto. Ye Terebo Shanda. Re pasata re ba 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 re posoto ye terebo shanda re terebo satala ba re ba 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 re posoto. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I uh, will just want to give some word of knowledge that as God is bringing it to us, as mercy is standing in the gap to begin to speak for some people. First, I want to speak to a family. I want to speak to a family. The recent happening, something has been happening in your family. Between, I, 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 I'm talking about couples now. Something has been happening in your marriage. And um, what you have seen is just a tip of the iceberg of what is exactly planned for you. And the main job plan of the devil is supposed to manifest in the next few weeks. But mercy is speaking now that that their plan has been torn. Because the purpose of that plan is to ensure that your marriage is safe. But God is saying that mercy is speaking now, that mercy has, is speaking concerning your marriage, that this, that this plan that has been made for your marriage will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, I'm asked to tell somebody again, your son, you kept your son somewhere, or your son goes somewhere, you put your, your son in care of somebody, and the person is trying to, and the, the people around him, I don't know if the person you have kept your, you kept your son with, or the people around him, are influencing him for evil. But daddy says, I should tell you, that within the next few days, he will expose what is being done unto you. And you'll be able to take the correct step in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm asked to tell somebody that um, within, this is this week, before Friday next week, you will have, you will feel very sick suddenly. And the way you felt very sick suddenly is the same way you will get healed suddenly. Now, that is here I should tell you. That that sickness that is coming and that we go is actually supposed to lead to death. But mercy has spoken for you and you will, the way it suddenly comes is the way it will suddenly go. So when it happens, you will know that um, God just um, wiped away wails and tears and crying from your family because mercy has just spoken for you tonight. When it happened, you will know you're the one. Ah, okay. Mercy say I should tell somebody that yes, you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb for a long time. And previously, you have been very stubborn. He has been speaking to you and you have refused to adhere. Because you were trusting on the anointing of persons than your relationship with him. He says, I should tell you that of recent, you are beginning to look more inward than look outward. And that because you are taking that steps, that if you continue in this trajectory you are going, before the end of year 2021, you would have gotten the fruit of the womb. That is information I have for somebody. Thank you, Jesus.
Now, let's continue our prayers. Let's continue our prayers. Um, we're going to cry to mercy again and ask God and say, based on the word of knowledge that he has given us, mercy, please expose to me that thing that is currently happening in my life that I urgently need to act about. Expose to me that thing that is currently happening in my life that I need to take a step on. Begin to expose it to me by mercy. I know I might not be qualified to see it. I I know I might not have prayed enough to see it. I know I might not have fasted enough to see it. I know I might not have done enough things to see it. My works might not be good enough, but this will help my Christian faith. Father, please, by mercy, expose to me things that are happening around me that I have no information about. Begin to talk to God now in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to talk to God now. While I listen to whatever he has to say to us, begin to talk to God now. By mercy, expose the information I need in the mighty name of Jesus. Expose the information I need in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I we pray. Now, um, there is somebody among us. I am asked to remind you your dream. I'm asked that if I mention this part of your dream, you will remember the rest of the dream and will be able to take a step about it because that was where something was sold into your life. Um, you are in something that looks like a farm. And it looks as if you were farming. But there was no harvest. You, it looked as, it looked as if you spent so much time farming on that farm or doing something on that farm, but you never it, there was never an harvest. Now, I'm about to remind you that part of the dream. And I'm told that once I remind you that side, you remember the rest of the dream. And that is where this, that is where the issue started from. That is exactly the dream you need to deal with. If you deal with that dream, things will get settled. I'm asked to tell another person here. The reason why the road has been so blocked all this while is your matter is almost like mine. You and uh, you are not entirely one with your spouse. I'm asked to tell you, you are not entirely one with your spouse, and that is where the issue is. I know a lot of issues. I'm being told now that a lot of issues has cropped up that has made it difficult to come together as one. But I'm asked to tell you that if you both did not come together as one, you are not going to. You are not going forward. So it is. It's time to begin to deal with your oneness because that is the key. To the next level you are going. Okay, I'm being shown another person's dream. I'm asked that if I tell this person you, that dream also, you will remember. You will remember. Okay, you were you have a dream that you were in your primary school, but the uniform you were wearing was a bit different. The uniform was like a khaki. It was a diff, it was total different from what you're supposed to wear, but you saw yourself in your primary school, but your uniform was entirely different. I'm asked that if I tell you that part of your dream, you'll remember the rest. For those that God is speaking about your dream, once you remember the rest, please contact us so that God can give us the remaining information. Now let's go to God in prayers and continue to pray again. Okay. Um, I am seeing a, I'm seeing like a tree. On that tree, I'm seeing a fruit. It's like an apple, a low-hanging fruit. You don't need to stress yourself to catch the fruit. It's just available there. The fruit is there. But I am seeing people around the tree blind. So they are stretching for their hand, looking to touch the fruit, and they Oh, okay. Sorry. You can hear me now. Okay. Let's continue again. Um, let me start afresh because I believe some of us might have missed what I said. I said, I'm seeing a fruit. I'm seeing a tree. It has a low hanging fruit like an apple. But I'm seeing people walking around that tree blindfolded and they could not see the fruit. So they are stretching for the hand to grab it, but they cannot get it. And I've been told that when the fruit gets so ripe, the enemy comes and steals it, takes it away, 
and by the time you your eyes is finally opened, the fruit is missing, it's gone. Then you go back into prayer, the fruit comes out again, and by the time it comes out again, you are blindfolded, you've gone a different route again, and it comes to steal again. And mercy is asking us to pray over this tonight. So if even this is our final prayer, this is very important. I want you to cry to God and say, Mercy, open my eyes to the provisions you have prepared for me. Because heaven keeps providing these things, but it keeps getting uh, stolen. It's prepared for you, but it's always stolen. You are always missing it. When it is exactly ready, you are blindfolded, you are distracted, you have gone a different way. When it is now stolen, that is when you come back to the place you are supposed to go to. Can we go to God? If this is the last prayer we pray tonight, can you, can you hear me? Okay. So, um, can we pray to God tonight and say, Father, open my eyes to the provisions you are prepared for me. Let's begin to pray that prayer now. By mercy, open my eyes to the provisions you are prepared for me. The things you have prepared for me, open my eyes to receive them. In the mighty name of Jesus, open my eyes to receive the the provisions you have kept for me, the various provisions you have prepared for me, the answers to my prayers that you kept bringing my way, but I'm blind, I can't see it. I've been blindfolded, I can't notice it. Father, by mercy, open my eyes to get them. In the mighty name of Jesus, open my eyes to get them. Open my eyes to get them. Open my eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus, open my eyes. Open my eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Can you place your hands on your eyes even as I pray for you? I am being told that some people's helper walks in front of them and they cannot see. Rather, they even dislike their helper currently. I'm told that some people, it has been prepared. Everyone has prepared the opportunity for you. But you never branch that side until it is gone. That is when you now start going. That's the strategy that I've been working all these years. I am told that as 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 early as this weekend, you will notice the effect of this prayer. So place your hands upon your eyes and let us pray. Father God, we thank you for all of us, including myself. We thank you for being merciful unto us tonight. We thank you for your various words and specifically for showing us that you have made prepare, you have prepared down the things, the answers to our prayers. The keys to our, to the issues of our life, the solutions to our prayers. And we have not been seeing it. We have been blindfolded so much that we have, we are distracted until it is stolen. That is where we now get back on, on track. Father, please tonight, for every one of us, open our eyes of understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Open our eyes to be able to see in the name of Jesus. These low-hanging fruits, these easy testimonies that everyone has prepared, that we should just take easily without stress, help us to grab them in the mighty name of Jesus. The days of losing miracles, the days of losing answers to prayers, has come to an end tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. And by mercy, this very night, all of us shall begin to see your divine provision for us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Mercy just told me that as an effect of this prayer, many of us will have powerful dreams. Dreams that will look so real, and yet it will be things that will happen. So it will not just be dreams now. It will be things that happen. I'm, I'm, I'm being told for sharper revelations, sharper revelations. I pray that God will count you worthy to receive that which we have received tonight in the name of Jesus. Before you sleep tonight, I want you to just cry to God and say, Mercy, please expose to me all the information I need for the next phase of my life. And I pray that God, by mercy, will attend to every one of us in Jesus' name. God bless you. Um, I believe that God is want, God wants to deal with revelations and dreams tomorrow. I perceive that He has started tonight. 
showing me other people's dreams and I'm perceiving that he still wants to go that route tomorrow. So uh, I could I beg of you if it's possible, fast along tomorrow so that um, God can easily pick your own specific issue and talk about it. So it will, so you 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 it will be it will be advisable that we all go to God in fasting. Uh, it might not be so long a fast, but I'm sure you spend time and saying, Father, expose to me the information I need. God bless you. Have a wonderful night in the presence of God.